People's Democratic Party, PDP, has threatened to reject the results of the presidential election. The PDP agents at the National Coalition Center in Abuja, Dino Malaye, said this on Monday while raising concerns about the presidential election results in Kwara State. Malaye argued that the failure of INEC to promptly upload online results from polling units makes the results questionable. Chairman of INEC evaded, um, vehemently evaded that, because what section 47.3 emphasizes is that wherever um, the, the card reader or the beavers failed, if they cannot get a replacement, election should be canceled in those areas. And we have seen for the presentation of the um, results from um, Ekiti yesterday that some places were canceled as a result of bypassing um, beavers. So the only way to detect that beavers have been bypassed is for us to see the uploaded results. And we insisted that the chairman should show us here now the uploaded results state by state, just like the way they are displaying the collated results they are presenting. And that is the only way to test the veracity and authenticity of these results. If not, we are only here to endorse the fraud that has been done from the unit to the world to the state. We are not here to rubber stamp infractions. We are not here to rubber stamp the abnormalities that have been done. We are here to check them. But the, the, the national chairman of INEC is not giving us opportunity to, 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 to question what they are doing. He's saying that all has been done, meaning we are just here to rubber stamp. And we are going to prove that we are not here to rubber stamp. We have no other country to call our own but this country. We are going to do everything humanly possible to make sure that the right thing must be done. We want to tell you that we will not allow having suffered a pain in this country, having suffered poverty, hunger, kidnapping, killings, we will not allow a continuation of failure. We must make sure that the right thing is done. And national chairman is putting his integrity on test. We are putting his integrity on test. Nigerians are watching. The world is watching. Even the dead are watching to see what INEC will do. But the battle to make sure that only resu authentic results will be will be announced here today is the party of no retreat, no surrender. However, INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu insisted that the commission stood by the results declared by the coalition officer of Ekiti State, Professor Akim Olawale Lassisi, who is the Vice Chancellor of Federal University of Health Sciences in Laurakun, Oshun State. If any political party believes that the figures they have from the hard copies of the results given by the polling agents at the level of coalition, that the figures are inconsistent with what has been provided on the spreadsheet that we projected yesterday. I would like that political party to forward the information to the commission so that we can speak on the basis of facts. I like the suggestion made that the Commission has power under the Electoral Act to review results, but that power is contingent upon one procedure. The process has to be concluded first before you can then talk about power to review. I want to assure political parties that any evidence that you have of any alleged wrongdoing at any level of the process, whether it's at the polling unit or at coalition level, please forward this information. And I promise you, as soon as the process is concluded, we'll then do the review as provided by law. At the time of filing this report, APC and PDP seem to have a tie with five states each. States won by the Tinubu include Ekiti, Oyo, Kwara, Jigawa and Ogun. The states won by Atiku include Oshun, Katsina, Yobe, Gombe and Adamawa. Meanwhile, the Labour Party is coming behind with two states and they include Lagos and Enugu. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.